Hello everybody and welcome b back to my let's play of my bonus episode of my let's play on Star Trek Judgment Rights. This is the bonus ending to No Man's Land, the original one we find, uh, we show Trelane the errors he made with World War One and convinced him that what he was doing was wrong or pretty much and you basically get your ship freed. There's a different ending that does that's pretty much different, so I'm going to show you that right now. First of all, we need to talk to... Let's see if we can contact the Enterprise. Captain, thank goodness you're all right. We've been stuck in a place on minimal life support, and every time we fix our communication system, it goes offline again. Shall we try to beam you back? That might be problematic, Mr. Scott. Be careful, Captain. We've scanned two life forms that are right off the power scale. Two life forms, Scotty. Scotty, come in. How like an engineer your Mr. Scott is, always fixated on the unimportant. Mike, but the uh, readings that you were getting. Well, Captain, I suppose you're about to make your grand plan of escape. You must think you're pretty clever to I don't have to do anything. Eventually, your parents are going to find you and discipline you again. Fortunately, Kirk, my parents are otherwise occupied. They won't interrupt me when I'm winning. But you have to compete first before you can win. Send the others away safely, and I'll give you a chance at revenge. That's odd. I was sure I detected other power sources converging towards us when I was on the Enterprise. You weren't winning, Trelane. You never were. You had tremendous powers, you had a weapon, and I didn't. And you still fell on your face. That's odd. I was sure I detected other power sources converging towards us when I was on the Enterprise. No, you didn't. It's nowhere near me. But there's no harm in making sure we aren't seen. Trelane! Oh, no, she saw me. Kirk, you tricked me. That's not fair. It's not fair. Trelane, can I never turn my back for one nanosecond? You know your parents didn't want you running off with any more planets. But we haven't finished playing yet. We haven't. Things were just getting good. Getting good? Look at the mess you've made. You know these primitive vessels aren't supposed to be shrunk like this. But that's my collection. You can't take them away. You can't. What's going on in this little tantrum? Captain, I'm sorry about this. Trelane's been warned before. I guess we'll have to put him in a place where he can't get to this dimension. That would be appreciated. Your ships will be restored to normal. I'm sorry about this, Captain. You can't guess how much trouble he is. Actually, I think I can. So you can. Captain's log. The missing starships have been restored to normal size and are about to return to their assigned missions. So you just basically get his babysitter to get him and take him back. Well, now that we've taken care of business, ow! I'll have to see Dr. McCoy about my shoulder. Something happened, Captain. Mr. Ellis and I. I see. Are your differences settled? I'm afraid not, Mr. Spock. We each won a game of zero-G squash, but I'm afraid he was called back to the Zimbabwe before we could have a rubber match. I think I dislocated my shoulder with a rather wild swing in the second game. Then logic suggests that your injury would have caused you to lose the match. I suppose so. He's a good player and a good officer. I'm putting in a request to bring him on the Enterprise. That should be fascinating. <laughs> Hello, Captain. The same ending. I'm Captain Gernsbeck of the Shinobi. I thought I would thank you personally before we left for Cephas 5. A pleasure to meet you, Captain. Have we met before, Captain? There's something familiar. Perhaps we did, on some other planet, in some other star system, sometime long ago. Message from Starfleet <laughs> Command. It's always kind of funny, you go back out on the ships near your destroyed. On screen. <laughs> I have reviewed your report from your recent assignment, Captain. I have a few comments. I am very pleased with your performance. It was a perfect mission, Jim. Your reputation as Starfleet's best starship captain is secure. Kane out. I think both endings give you basically a um, perfect ending, but I like the other one bit better because it's more kind of... Captain's log. 
While exploring an uncharted star system in the Deneb sector, we received what we think is a message from a distress beacon on Onias 2. We're en route to investigate. Just real quick, I want to see if I actually did get 100% on it. And yes, I did. Okay, so this was the bonus episode. I just wanted to show you that ending. So, I hope you enjoyed it. And I'll see you guys in the next video, the next part with the next mission in my series. So, see you then. Bye.